Hi and welcome back to the Home Recording Weekly blog. My name is Kern and if you haven't been to the blog it's homerecordingweekly.blogspot.com Today I'm blessed to be reviewing Record 1.5 and it's bundled with Reason version 5. Um, I looked on the internet everywhere and could not find out if I could use my Mbox with this propeller head software and I'm glad to report for all of you guys that were and girls that were wondering yes you can flawlessly uh, in fact with record I've changed the way I do everything I haven't used my pro tools since I got record and that's no pun no joke when it comes to speed if you're like me you've rushed home to get an idea down or you woke up with the the next number one hit and you wanted to get it down I found with Pro Tools it takes some time. With Record, two mouse clicks and I'm recording guitar, or vocals, whatever. The first click makes a mono or stereo track. The second click puts the instrument on the track and you're recording. It's blazingly fast. It's comfortable for me to use it right out of the box because it's set up as you can see just like a professional mixing console. Um, this is just one of the three main areas. So let me just sh real quickly take you through it you have your input gain for your instruments uh, a little bit of signal routing here uh, you have a compressor on each track and as well as some gates you can also send each track into the master section over here which has bus compression and uh, global effects and things but we're not going to get into the main section right now uh, we're going to scroll down a little bit more. You have a high and low pass filter. Then you have your EQ section. Uh, the EQ is set up for highs, mids, lows, and real lows, as I say. And each one you can turn up the gain or reduce the gain of a certain frequency and then adjust the bell curve so that it's either a specific frequency or a general frequency area. Really, really well set up. Uh, enjoy it very much and then down here your effects routing couldn't be any easier turn it on set the level and that's it uh, if you're wondering what effects did that just turn on you come over here and you look and see if you don't like the actual effect that is plugged in here then you can simply change it put anything you want in there uh, as you can see there's up slots for up to eight effects pretty impressive and then of course you have your panning mute solo and your slider level again set up just like every mixing board I've ever seen uh, a very very impressive console and this can uh, almost unlimited tracks too so it becomes pretty big uh, pretty wide I should say um, I'm gonna move my computer for you guys just a little bit so that I can show you the other screens um, first off this F5 these quick punch numbers are brilliant uh, pushing F6 takes you to the rack. If you've ever used Reason before, you know what this section is. Uh, right off the bat, you see this master section. Um, you can enable show your routing, and then you scroll down more, and these are the effects settings for uh, maximizer, your compressor, your stereo imager, and your EQ. These are my reverbs. These are all the effects. Uh, tape echo, digital delay, um, and then you can hide them so you, once you set them you can forget them um, you guys are familiar with the new Dr. Octo that came in Reason 5 um, of course Reason and Record work seamlessly together so it's so brilliant uh, one thing about the Dr. Octo I really like as well as having eight uh, Rex files playing customizing has become so simple uh, the slice edit mode a, your cursor becomes a pencil and you can simply draw in your panning your pitching your frequencies your everything you can imagine it just makes altering your Rex files so so simple uh, another brilliant idea was these pod uh, guitar and bass sim amp and cabinet simulators uh, again, one click it's up, you choose your amp, you choose your cabinet, uh, everything from drive, bass, metal, treble, your presence and volume is all right here. And then once that's set, you simply push F5 and you're recording and you can alter your settings. Uh, F7 is like a reason screen, 
but it's in record. What this is, is you can, like, say you record a guitar part for a verse, uh, and you're thinking, hey, that might be cool in the chorus. Well, you can drag it and drop it anywhere you want it. This, cre this t treats audio just like MIDI, and it makes life so much easier. Um, say I'm uh, writing a drum part with a re-drum, and once, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to put it in edit mode, and now you can choose your specific instrument and actually edit your MIDI. What I find myself doing is using the software to get my song down really fast, and then I revisit all these intricate little MIDI parts, and I polish, and I rewrite, and I edit, and I edit, and I, uh, it's a, a continuing effort but it's set up so, so easily, uh, so brilliantly and effortlessly in record that I, I haven't used Pro Tools since I got it. And that's not a pun, that's not a joke, it's true. <clears throat> I find Pro Tools is all numbers and record is actual knobs. And that's the way I like to record and it's growing on me uh, the more I use it. Also, uh, one dislike I have is in Pro Tools, you can see where compressors uh, are turning on and reducing spikes and things. With Record, you have to use your ears. And I know you should be using your ears anyway. I like to use my ears and eyes together. With Record, you get a little bit, and I'll show you, you get a little bit of meter action right here uh, with the VU meter, but it's just not enough. And you get these LEDs too, but uh, with Pro Tools, I really like this. So maybe they'll come up with something a little bit different, but until then, that's not really a complaint. Uh, again, the, the new block mode uh, when you're editing your audio is great for moving courses and verses around. And uh, Right out of the box, I'm, I've been using this. So I never did a drop C tuning before uh, for you guys in metal, you know, just what that is on a guitar. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and, and use this. Uh, in one evening, I got this down. I have gone back and retweaked and retweaked, but I just want to share with you how good this sounds. And by the way, it sounds different than any other audio software I've used. Uh, everyone has its unique kind of amps and things uh, with a microphone and guitars. This sounds so real. It's just what goes in comes out, and that's very, very cool. There's no acoustics on this one, however, so I used all the pod, but this is what I came up with real quickly, uh, and I thought I would share just uh, what I like and don't like about it, and here's the song, one of the, song, one of the many songs I've written. was done so quickly uh, that I will never I'll have a hard time going back to Pro Tools